my upbringing in fantasy doesn't go back to Lord of the Rings. It goes back to staying up late on Saturday nights to watch Inuyasha on Cartoon Network. Uh, it, stay, it goes back to Full Metal Alchemist and uh, to all these other worlds that I couldn't really get in my local library. My favorite thing about my genre is uh, the element of escape. Our world is pretty bonkers and fantasy gives you a way out of that for a little while to explore other things. But the best part about that escape is that ultimately it leads you back to these big truths about the world that we live in. And normally it's the kind of thing that you're wrestling with just in the confines of your head, but with fantasy you can take something small like the question of how to forgive and then you can blow it up as huge as you want and literalize it in the form of a magic system or a culture. I tried so many different versions of this book and I didn't really snap everything into place until I realized that I was grappling with the idea of how do people forgive something. Um, because then once I realized that, every single character's arc hinged on a moment where they are challenged to forgive somebody or not. The main bad guy is somebody who has had the ability of, to forgive things burned completely out of him. Um, and the looming threat that everybody faces is the threat of becoming like him. I am really excited about, uh, her name is Shulan, she is a detective, uh, but really what she is is like if a Sherlock Tumblr fangirl with a rat Pokemon was on the loose in a magical world. She's somebody who has read too many books and internalized all their tropes and keeps trying to apply them to real life uh, with mixed results, and that's something that I can relate to a lot. That She came from a really authentic place. <laughs>